back now an exclusive interview with former Apple CEO John Scully. He says asking Steve Jobs to step down was a big mistake he made and he claims his focus was to turn around Apple but being from corporate America he didn't realize the importance of a founder visionary. Why he was asked to step down, he was never fired by the way, uh, he was asked to step down running the Macintosh division. I was brought in at a time where the only cash flow for Apple for the next three years was the Apple II. The sales were going down. It was outsold two to one by its major competitors. So the focus I was given by the board was turn around the Apple II and keep the cash flowing for the next three years because nobody expected Macintosh to make any money you know, until probably 1986. I joined in 1983. <coughs> When Steve introduced the Macintosh office in 1985, it was a, a terrible failure. He went into a Great Depression. He got mad at me, and he said, uh, you forced me to price it too high. I want to lower the price. He said, I want to shift the advertising from Apple II over to the, to the Macintosh office. And I said, Steve, if you do that, you're going to throw the company into losses, and we're a public company. We need to go to the board. And uh, you can present your side. I'll present my side. Uh, but I think that's wrong. And so we went to the board. They asked the vice chairman, Mike Markula, to study it for about 10 days to talk to all of the executives. And he came back and reported to the board, not to me or to Steve, but to the board. And he said, uh, I agree with John. I don't agree with Steve. So that was a specific decision not to fire him, but to ask him to step down. I was still relatively new in Silicon Valley in those days. I came from corporate America. I didn't understand enough how important a visionary founder is to any of these companies, whether it's Google or Facebook or Apple or Amazon. And I think in hindsight, uh, when you're doing innovative products the way Apple has always done, uh, at that point, uh, to lose the founder, or particularly a visionary, brilliant, genius founder, was a mistake. So where was the responsibility? Well. <clears throat> Um, I think part of the responsibility is with the board of directors because they knew what they were hiring with me. They weren't hiring a computer expert. They knew that Steve was a mercurial personality uh, and they weren't prepared to put him in charge. But I think more could have been done to get us to work together. It was always his company. I never wanted to take it over. Uh, but I wasn't going to sit there with a public corporation as the CEO and see us drive the company into losses without going to the board of directors. So uh, in hindsight, I, I wish the board had worked with Steve and me to figure out a way that we could have stayed together uh, because we were great friends and we were working brilliantly up until that point.